and civil society and concerned Nigerians held a workshop in Abuja to discuss improving service delivery and conditions of Nigerian police forces. The event organized by Clean Foundation and stakeholders aimed to support policy papers arising from the workshop, highlighting the need for modifications to meet current realities. Consultants presented papers on police, constitution and acts aiming to refine their role to meet current realities. And so the police now became associated with their culture, with the small stick that they were holding, rather than their role, their role as protectors of the law. But ideally, the name of the police would have been that broker, protectors of the law. But now they are just wielders of sticks. <laughs> And so this is where we, we started by getting it wrong. That the police are not to protect the law, but they were to wield the stick. The regulatory framework must be for people and people center that will drive the process of accountability, not just in terms of fun, but in terms of performance of the police in preventing crime in mitigating where crimes have been committed, and at the end of the day, to be the police for all. So while we are here today, and we are declaring our support for this uh, timely program, is to the import that we must have a, a police sector driven that is human rights driven, and we must also interrogate the architecture and security architecture that will place the police among the people, within the people, and serving the people are not just serving the ego of any other person. Stereotyping and marginalized groups in Nigeria are being addressed with calls for laws to be expunged or modified. A policy document will be developed and transmitted to authorities with incorporation expected when the final draft of the police reforms bill is passed. Marginalized groups including women, young persons and children, people with disabilities, as well as the poor and powerless, experience poor service, neglect or even abuse at the hands of personnel of NPF that are meant to protect them. Such experiences, especially against women, are exacerbated by the larger societal gender stereotypes that creates rigid ideas about the roles and expectations of men and women, which sadly are being reproduced by public institutions like the police in Nigeria. These realities erode public confidence and trust in NPF and calls for urgent measures. Rebuilding confidence and trust in the police will require several measures, including gender mainstreaming, gender responsiveness, gender transformative approach, and gender sensitivity.